Well, hey friends, happy day! It is Costco day and we just got back from a big Costco trip. Um, we had to stock up on a lot of things that we have been utterly out of and I'm going to flip you around and share with you all of the things that we picked up. Okay, so starting over here, I picked up this Batiste dry shampoo. Normally one of these I find in the grocery store for um, 8 or $9. And then it also came with this travel one. And this whole pack was $12.99. So I thought that was a good deal. I was out of dry shampoo. I've heard great things about Batiste. So we'll see how it goes. But I was excited about that deal. And we got a bunch of yogurt. Some pancake mix. One of my hauls that I did a long time ago um, involved this pancake mix and we finally just went through the whole thing so that lasted us for several several months so um, we really like that brand and so we got another one and we got our milk and then this here is some assorted salamis so if you're on Trim Healthy Mama one thing that um, I really like to do in the evening is I get hungry for a snack and that is my biggest time where I'm tempted to try, you know, eating off plan. And so a little snack of just some, um, some of this salami with maybe a little bit of cheese is always such a really satisfying S snack um, to do in the evening. So we really like this. And this is a treat. We haven't got it in forever, so we're excited for that. And we got one butter. We got some mozzarella cheese and then just our standard marble cheese that we always seem to get. We got Renee's Mighty Caesar Dressing. I love this stuff because just a teeny tiny bit goes a really long way. And we picked up our favorite um, Canadian um, maple flavored bacon. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen this in almost every Costco haul that I've done because we love this stuff. And then back to some of our favorite broccoli. We picked up this. Um, ham and um, the Costco or the Kirkland brand chicken we really like this as well um, we have bought this for years and years they recently started to vacuum seal the individual chicken pieces I hate that because it's really difficult to open especially as they're like they're frozen um, but the chickens really good we got some turkey bites. We like to stick these in my daughter's lunch. We are a peanut-free school, so I need lots of alternatives to sandwiches. She doesn't really like, um, you know, just jam sandwiches or uh, ham sandwiches, things like that. So we really like to do these turkey pepper turkey pepperettes for her as um, a protein source. And then we got the pink Himalayan sea salt. Someone had asked in the comments of one of my Costco hauls how much this was, and it was $4.99. And then some cracked black pepper, veggie straws, we already got into those, um, some Chicago mix popcorn. So this is caramel corn and cheddar popcorn, and the mix together of these two things is so amazingly good so if you've never tried this before it sounds really bizarre and I was really hesitant to, hesitant to eat it at first but it's really really good we needed some brown sugar some mayonnaise um, these Kirkland brand granola bars are so delish our favorite um, Silver Hills bread we got blueberries raspberries and two big cartons of strawberries and then down here we got paper towels and our white vinegar. So we always use one for cooking and then the other one we use in our laundry. Um, so I use that as like a fabric softener. Works really great. And your clothes do not smell like vinegar. Um, this whole big container is tomatoes. A big thing of lettuce. Some olive oil. Honey bunches of oats. And we did get a big bag of dog food. So that is a look at everything. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and I will chat with you later. Bye. So really quick, I just wanted to show you how bare our fridge is. Really the only edible things in here besides um, condiments, of course you could eat those, but 
that's not really that satisfying, um, is just some eggs and cheese. So we were really low on several things. And a lot of the condiments are actually kind of running a bit low, so we really needed a good stock up.